The bitter rivalry between Intel and Apple has reached a new level. Formerly united in their desire to chip core-powered MacBooks, these two tech titans have split up. Apple is now prepared to handle laptop production entirely on its own, utilizing its in-house ARM processors known as M1 chips. Hey guys, welcome to Product Review Hub. In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between the new M1 chip and the Intel Core i9 12th generation Alder Lake chip. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive more videos like this. Apple claims that the benchmark results for their ARM-based M1 chip outperform Intel. Furthermore, they claim that the M1 is faster than a processor on the market today. And it certainly sounds as if it should be. The M1 processor is an octa-core chip with 4 performance and 4 efficiency cores. It also has 8-core graphics and a 16-core neutral engine, which are designed to provide up to 15 times faster machine learning performance. Because of the 8-core GPU, M1-based computers outperform the onboard quad-core Intel chips found on older MacBook Pro logic boards in terms of graphics performance. Recently, there have been many talks that the new Alder Lake chip beats Apple's M1 Max chip, but the truth is that that's only one side of the complicated story. Intel Alder Lake for desktops has been performing well, and many are waiting for the mobile version to release, especially on the heels of Apple's new MacBook Pros. Here's a little background before we dive in. How did we end up here? Intel reigned supreme from the 1980s to the 2010s. To see the history of Intel, one of the early founding fathers of Silicon Valley is to see the history of the semiconductor industry. Intel pioneered many industry innovations, including the constant shrinkage of the manufacturing process from 3 micrometers to 10 nanometers. That's a 300x reduction. The Thunderbolt protocol and the development of a few of the top supercomputers. However, with the introduction of the smartphone, the lead had shrunk. Somehow, the behemoth missed the era of computing and competitors, including Apple, began to catch up. Apple has long been rumored to be developing its own processors in order to gain the same top-down control it has over the iPhone and iPad. Simultaneously, Intel has been castized for its inability to perform a die shrink after being stuck on 14 NM nodes for years before moving to slower 10 NM chips. Things really reached a boiling point in early 2019 when Tim Cook blamed declining Mac sales on Intel chips shortages. A year later, Apple unveiled the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro with M1 chips on Apple's propriety Air RM-based silicon. The release of Apple's first computer chips signaled the end of 14-year collaboration between Apple and Intel. It didn't take long to figure out that the divorce was a shambles. Intel immediately went on the offensive, releasing internal benchmarks claiming that its chips outperformed the M1. Soon after, the company launched a marketing campaign to entice customers to build PCs. Now let's get to the chips. For many customers, the most important aspect of the processor is its performance. For the longest time, that's nearly a decade, Intel was unrivaled in mobile chip performance with its core processors running circles around the competition. This began to change in earnest at the beginning of 2020, when AMD released its Ryzen 4000 series chips, which outperformed Intel's dual 10th while also delivering excellent efficiency. Apple received high praise for the performance of its new M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, which are found in the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. But it appears that Intel's 12th generation Alder Lake chips may provide some serious competition. The desktop Alder Lake chips have just gone on sale, and while comparing desktop and mobile chips isn't particularly fair for obvious reasons, it's still an interesting comparison, especially since it's rumored that Apple will use a modified version of its M1 Max chip in a Mac Pro desktop this year. Geekbench results for the new Intel Core i9 12900K show a processor that outperforms the M1 Max in multi-core tests by around 1.5x, with an average of around 18,500 points compared to 12,500 for Apple's chips. It's a similar story when pitting the i7-12700K against the M1 Pro. That's a result Intel can be proud of. Though comparing desktop chips to mobile chips isn't particularly useful. That's not just because of the raw performance difference between classes, but also because of the respective power draw which Apple understandably has an advantage over because its chips are designed to run off a battery rather than a power outlet. The new Intel processors consume 125 watts of base power and 241 watts with turbo boost. In comparison, the new MacBook Pro consumes very little power. That means Apple can easily point to laptop versus desktop and have the glory of matching it on single core and coming somewhat close in multi-core. With its framing, it's still a win for Apple. For Apple, power efficiency is just as important as raw speed, if not more so. Indeed, the company promised industry-leading performance per watt and incredible efficiency, while still providing solid, if not world-beating performance. 
while early leaks indicate that the mobile version of Alder Lake could easily outperform the M1 family in terms of performance, massive efficiency gains would be required for Alder Lake-powered laptops to meaningfully close the gap of power draw on the MacBook Pro, thanks in part to Apple's integrated GPU. That said, comparing the M1 Pro and Macs to Intel's Alder Lake processors is akin to comparing apples to burnt oranges. Of course, Alder Lake is the desktop version of the CPU. As a result, we can anticipate that the laptop version which Intel plans to this year will either run significantly slower or will not technically be a laptop processor because using it on your lap would be unwise. Similarly, we can anticipate Apple's Pro desktop CPU to be significantly faster and consume significantly more power than the M1. It would be absurd to claim that because Alder Lake would completely destroy the M1 Max, the laptop versions would do the same. The issues for Intel here will be electricity, heat, and wearing shorts in the summer. When Apple unveils the M1 Max, it can deliver performance comparable to a high-end GPU in a compact Pro PC laptop while consuming up to 40% less power, and performance similar to that of the highest-end GPU in the largest PC laptops while using up to 100 watts less power. The M1 Pro and M1 Max are enhanced versions of Apple's base M1 chip. Not only are there more cores overall, up from 8 to 10, but the setup is more performance-oriented. With 8 performance cores and 2 efficiency cores versus M1's 4 performance and 4 efficiency cores. Graphics is an area where new SoCs shine, whereas the M1 only has 8 graphic cores. The M1 Pro has 16 cores and the Max has a whopping 32 graphic cores. Apple Fabric and a 16-core neural engine also standard features on all SoCs. Apple enhanced the M1 Pro and M1 Max SoCs with a media engine to encode and decode ProRes videos, a display engine to handle external delays, and a dedicated Thunderbolt controller to handle external I.O. All of these accelerators may not delight the benchmark program, but they're extremely useful if used. Another feature of the M1 Pro and Max SoCs is the large number of memory channels built into the system. While most consumer chips from AMD and Intel have dual memory channels, Apple, in our opinion, put four memory channels on the M1 Pro and eight on the M1 Max. Such memory channel counts are typically found on server chips such as Intel's Neon and AMD's Epic. Altogether, Apple has achieved an industry-leading performance per watt that costs far less cost compared to its Intel Mac Pro. The new M1 Pro and M1 Max chips beat Apple's 12-core Intel Mac Pro with a base cost of $6,999. Although, a rumored MSI laptop with an Intel Core i7 12700H processor has been benchmarked, the Intel Alder Lake P breezed through the test, outperforming not only AMD but also Apple's pride and joy, the M1 Max chip. Cinebench benchmarked the Core i7 12700H in R20 and R23, measuring single and multi-core performance. It's not a stretch to say that it did exceptionally well in both of those tests. In the Cinebench R20 test, Alder Lake scored 689 points in single-thread operations, outperforming previous-generation Intel by 12% and the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX by 21%. Intel Core i7-12700H didn't just outperform the current generation of Ryzen CPUs, it also demolished Apple's ultra-fast M1 Max chip found in the 16-inch MacBook Pro, at least in the Cinebench R23 benchmark. While only multi-core operations have been published so far, the benchmark shows that Intel outperformed the M1 Max chip by a whopping 49% scoring an impressive 18,501 points. All of these results bode well for Intel's upcoming laptop releases. Alder Lake P performed well in multi-core operations in Cinebench R20, scoring 7,158 points. This makes it 47% faster than the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX, because AMD has built its reputation on the superior multi-core performance of its processors. This type of result could be a huge victory for Intel. We're still a long way from being able to make these comparisons fairly. The M1 Max desktops as well as the Alder Lake mobile chip aren't expected until later this year. Only when both are freely benchmarkable, we'll know how much ground Intel can make up on efficiency and how much ground Apple can make up on performance. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to watch more videos like this. While you're here, click on any of the other two videos on your screen and unlike.